take a look at this person running a race. You might already know that we can calculate his speed by dividing the distance the man has travelled, say 100 metres, by the time it's taken him, let's say 20 seconds. So his speed equals distance divided by time, which is 100 divided by 20, or 5 metres per second. However, this assumes that the man is running at a constant speed for the entire race. But this is never the case. Look at this graph of Hussein Bolt. Notice it takes time before he reaches his maximum speed. In a longer race, you might start off very quickly, but end up slowing down as you get tired. And in some races, runners will speed up right at the end. All of this means that our speed is not constant for the entire race. This is Usain Bolt again. This is where we need to consider the difference between average speed and instantaneous speed. Consider a car. A speed camera detects its actual speed at the time it passes the camera. It's instantaneous speed. However, there are now average speed cameras operating, which record your time to travel over a long distance. Cars are less likely to speed in this case, as to avoid being fined, they would need to then drive more slowly to lower their average speed. But today, we're only going to consider how to calculate the average speed. Let's look at an example. A dog is running across a field. She runs the first 50 meters in 20 seconds, but then gets tired and runs the last 50 meters in 30 seconds. To calculate the average speed, we must first find the total distance the dog has travelled. Then we find the total time the dog has travelled for. Then we can calculate the average speed by dividing the total distance by the total time. Simple. And now it's your turn. Here's another example. This time a car travelling down the road. The car travels 450 metres for the first 20 seconds but then it hits some traffic and has to slow down. It then travels just 150 meters for the next 20 seconds. Can you work out the average speed of the car? Pause the video and give it a go. The answer here is 15 meters per second. Did you get it right? Here's how we worked it out. Calculations such as these can also be taken from a distance time graph, such as this one, as you can see here. To calculate the average speed, our method remains exactly the same. We calculate it by taking the total time and total distance travelled from the graph. This means that on this graph, the average speed will be 400 metres divided by 70 seconds, giving us 5.7 metres per second. So here we have seen a number of different situations where you could be asked to calculate the average speed. But no matter what context your question is in, all you need to remember is that for non-uniform motion, the average speed can be found by dividing the total distance by the total time.